God has one way. God has one standard. God has one belief. God has one doctrine. God has one people. <clears throat> God has one church. The buildings that are in your neighborhood, that's not a church. Those are just places where people come to congregate. The church of those that not only believe in the one God, but follow the teachings of the one God. To all of our viewers that are watching and listening, this telecast and broadcast is dedicated to you, especially to our young people. As we said on our last telecast, in the church is the best place where young brothers and sisters can be. Amen. We'd rather have them here than out there in the streets of America, in the bars, in prisons, in the striptease joints, Amen. smoking crack, taking heroin, dancing and partying. We'd rather have them here. Amen. That way they can be molded and shaped into right. something good. That's right. Free from the hands of the devil. Right. You know, whenever anyone come to walk with God, the devil lost a soul. That's right. Right. And uh, the devil is not one that believe in going down without a fight. That's right. So all of us, sometime in our life, were in the devil's possession. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's a struggle getting out of his grip. That's right. Because when you come out, the devil's pulling on you to come right back in. That's right. Oh, yes. And you bear in mind, the devil know what to use for bait. He know how to lure you back in the same thing. That you fought so hard to come out of. One of the methods that Satan uses is sending to you an old friend. <laughs> One you haven't heard or seen in so long. He has sent he or she or it. Because they come in all three categories, you know. Send them back in your life yes, sir. Mm -hmm. to pull you back in the world of sin that you struggled so hard to come out of. And most time, his invitation is not always right off the back to a party. Oh, no. It's not always right off the back to just come to dinner. Sit in the subtle. He gave you an invitation centered around religion. Right. Right. He used religion as a convenient vehicle yep. to connect you back with him. Viewers and you that are here, religion has been and is one of the most popular tools that the devil been using yeah, to lure God people and turn them against him. That's right. For the devil don't make you think that you turned against God. No. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The devil used religion to make you believe you are one with God. Yeah. So the devil invites you to his church that have some of the same truth yeah. that's in God's church. And then you say, well, how can this church not be of God? They saying some of the same things that I believe. But you forgot the nature of the devil. He's called a serpent. That's right. If you look at a snake, tip of his tongue is split mm -hmm. a symbol of confusion mm -hmm. but the separation of the tongue is connected to one tongue mm -hmm. 
is one tongue down within. But when the tongue is displayed, you see different direction. Let you know Satan have knowledge of the oneness of God. That's right. Excellent, folks. Excellent. So he will present some truth connected to the oneness or the ways of God. That's right. But once he lure you in, glory to God. A lie come into place. That's what he did way in the beginning. In the Garden of Eden. He told Eve the truth. And he told Eve a lie. He made it clear to Eve that the Lord know the day that you eat thereof. Your eyes will come open. Yes, that was true. <laughs> but he also told Eve a lie. You won't die. That's right. That's right. Double tongue. That's that double tongue nature. That's right. You go where they believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. People jumping, shouting, falling out. New birth. Top. With remarriage and divorce. New birth top with women preachers. New birth top with racism. Somehow, some way, there's going to be a detachment in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, Satan. Uses that name also. That's right. Oh, yeah. Viewers, please don't think the name of Jesus is just being used by the righteous. The name of Jesus is more used by the unrighteous. That's right. Amen. You see, the devil, you got to respect him. Oh, yeah. He know it ain't no power in his name. That's why he don't use it. That's right. That's right. Sir. That's it. Have you thought of that? Right. The devil don't come to no one in the name of Lucifer. No, oh, no. No. The devil said, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's not a false prophet on television. It's not a false prophet on the internet. Is not a false prophet and deceiver on the radio that come in the name of his father. No, no. no, no. Amen. That's right. That's right. Not one come in the devil's name. No. Because the devil know his name is unpopular That's right. in society. That's right. That's right. His works is more popular than his name. That's right. So he lured the people to take on his behavior, his works, and hide those works under a respectable name. That's right. And then call those works the works of God yeah. in the name Jesus. Yeah. He's subtle. Oh, yeah. He's a deceiver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And coming in the name Jesus is what gives the people confidence in him. He's just a master in camouflage. That's why he's called that old serpent. The old, old serpent, not just serpent, old serpent mean he's a master in deceiving. Ain't nobody can deceive you like the devil can. All right, viewers, we're going to get back to talk to you about your father, the devil. And some of you here, the devil's your father too. I want to free you from that relationship. The one thing about the devil, everybody don't want to be free from him. He duke you, make you think he love you. He massage your mind with subtle thoughts and make you loyal and dedicated to him. And he disguise all of that with the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get some letters out the way. And then we want to talk to you viewers mm -hmm. about the devil. The devil. Show you what role he play yeah. 
In religion. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. All right, Dan, come on, let's have it. Uh, this letter comes from Davao City in the Philippines. All right. Uh, greetings of peace. Uh, as I search your site, Jesus God Almighty, I was blessed to find your site. Finally, I found a family in Christ. <clears throat> I do believe that we have the same faith and believe about really who Jesus is. All right. Uh, this person says, I am Joan S. Pantano, 25 years old, and live in Davao City in the Philippines. I was an active member in worship music. Uh, Jesus Christ, you are Lord, you are God, Rapture Ministry Church. Wow, that's, that's a lot of church going on. A lot of church. <laughs> you are God, you are raptured, you are ministry. All right, Philippines, come on. The name of our church. All right. We're also, uh, we're also a Philadelphia church, which stands on Revelations chapter 3 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. For all the big churches here, we are only a small church, but have many members because we don't yet have our own place or building. We only have house churches in different places here in Davao City. But despite of this, in spite of this, we are standing strong and preach the truth about Jesus. Because a real church is not a building, but it's people that worship the real God. All right, come on. I also handle, I also handle young people here, and they are called the Jesus Christ uh, Mahar Maharlika Youth. Uh, JCMY team is, a, is made up of loving, caring adults of various ages who are committed to uh, showing the love of God through our words and our deeds, our attitudes. It's our desire to help guide young people into loving, trusting, intimate relationships with the Lord Jesus Christ. She says, Pastor, I was blessed upon reading the gospel and I want to know more and grow more with Christ Jesus. I hope someday you can visit my place here in the Philippines and preach the word of God. I do believe uh, the way you preach and the, the, wor the word of God on which you stand. All right. Hoping to, hoping to hear and have a response from you soon. Looking forward to seeing you soon. And she also says, and thank you and God bless you. And this is from Joanne uh, Pontano, uh, Dueo City in uh, the Philippines. All right, Philippines, thank you for that wonderful letter. Next letter. <clears throat> uh, this letter says it's on the subject of baptism. Uh, dear Pastor Jennings, I need to know if, it's, if baptism is right. I quote, I baptize you in the name of the Father and his son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Comforter, waiting anxiously for your reply. No, it's wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. And Matthew 28, 19, Jesus told his disciples to baptize them in the name of the Father, right, man. and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And let me save this uh, uh, why it comes to mind, uh, because there's a teaching now, as one of the brothers mentioned to me, that's coming out of Columbia, uh, where many of the people who claim the apostolic now is being exposed to the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is being shifted. Hmm. Matthew 28, 19, now the preachers don't put a new spin on it. Hmm. Uh, now they're saying the name of their father is Lord and the name of the son is Jesus and the name of the Holy Ghost is Christ. Christ is not a name. No. Lord is not a name. No. Jesus is the name of God and Jesus is the name of the Lord. In fact, Jesus is the name of Christ. That's right. That's right. Christ is just the function of God. That's right. Christ is not Jesus' last name. No. Jesus is name. Christ is title. Jesus is name. Lord is title. That's right. Jesus is name. God is title. That's right. God means father creator the originator of all things mm -hmm. he that always was and always have been and always will be mm -hmm. and in order for God to get his will over he manifests his name through the manifestation of the Messiah which is the minister or the apostle or prophet mm -hmm. Christ Jesus Christ Jesus. Yeah. Jesus Christ mean the anointed one That's so right. when you repent of your sins the preacher must baptize you in the name of of Jesus Christ, Christ or the words Lord Jesus mm -hmm. not Father Son and Holy Ghost all in Jesus name no. not Father Son and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ mm -hmm. not Lord Jesus Father none of that none of yeah. it's in the name of Jesus Christ or the words Lord Jesus if you don't have it that way you have to go back and be baptized correct right. all right next letter uh, this letter comes from Marion, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, greetings, Pastor Jennings. I live in Marion, South Carolina. Pastor Jennings, I have watched uh, your program for a very long time. I try my best not to miss it. I watch your program every Sunday night. Your program starts on channel 43 at 11.30 a.m. 
Uh, I love to watch your program. You speak the truth, and the majority of people do not want to hear the truth. Uh, you don't bite your tongue for anyone. I most certainly don't. You tell it like it is. When you preach something on Sunday, you don't say something different the next Sunday or change it. We need more people like you in the world. Pastor Jennings, I need your prayers for me and my family, and especially want you to pray for my oldest son to keep him safe and change him. Pastor Jennings, I like all of the truth, not just some of the truth. You speak all of the truth and the whole truth. I know prayer changes all things. Keep up the good work. Uh, please keep me in your prayers and, uh, and my entire family. Again, this comes from Marion, South Carolina. All right, South Carolina. Thank you for that wonderful letter. Next letter. Uh, this uh, letter is on the subject in regards to the debate of God coming from darkness. Oh, here we go again. All right, what is it? This person says, I am a lifelong follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Does he give his name? No name. All right. Oh, he does give a name, Abdul Levon. All right, Mr. Abdul Levon. Abdul what is he Levin. saying? I'm a lifelong follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I don't believe you have debated anyone who understands this subject. He says, I do. I can be reached at, and he gives his telephone number. Would you like to settle this topic, he says. <laughs> Let me tell you this, Brother Abdul is already settled with us. Right. I done debated the Nation of Islam on three occasions. There's no need for me to keep going around the circles. I don't have that kind of time to waste. That's right. It's not in the Quran that God came from darkness. It's not in the Bible that God came from darkness. No. I do know where in the Quran where that teaching came from <clears throat> or where the misleading came from. In the Quran, it says Allah created you in the womb of your mothers in three veils of darkness, right. which is where the term triple darkness come from. The Quran never said that God came from darkness. Mm -hmm. It says that the people of the earth came from the darkness of the womb of their mother. Right. Even in the Bible, it says God created the light and he said, I made the darkness. Right. Listen, if God created himself, look at what you're saying. The creature is not here before the creator. No. So if God actually did create it himself, wouldn't he have to be here to do it? That's right. Right. Look at what you're saying. Right. If God created himself, he would have to already be here right. to do that. To do the Error to do the and the darkness. Right. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11 and verse 16. You tell me you understand it. Mm -hmm. You as a student, just like the other ones were. Right, right. And you don't have no more truth about the subject than they did. That's right. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11 and verse 16. What is it? Error. Era. And darkness. And darkness. And their beginning together with sinners. Wait a minute. What? Era. Era. And darkness. And darkness. Had their beginning. Had their beginning. Together. Together. With sinners. With what? With sinners. With sinners? With sinners. Era and darkness come from the sinner. Yep. Right. What do you mean the sinner? The behavior of his ways. Mm -hmm. John said about God, there is no darkness in him at all. So no, God didn't come from darkness. No. I did. And you did. That's right. And everybody in here did. That's right. We came from darkness. Amen. We came from the darkness of the wound of our mother. Right. Let me get let me straighten you out and make it plain. When God made man, he made man in his image. God shaped, God formed. That's what Adam was. Right. Adam was made in the image of God. See, man consists of heaven and earth. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Man consists of heaven and earth. He made man from the ingredients of the earth, That's right. from the dust of the ground. But then heaven came into man. God breathed into him the breath of life, which was the spirit of God, which is the spirit that reside in man. That's heaven. That's right. But man flesh come from earth. Now the flesh that God made was full of darkness. That's right. Because it was ignorant of the knowledge of God and the way of God. Mm -hmm. When a woman carry a child, there's darkness and light in her. That's right. I know you think of the scripture that says, God says, I will dwell in the thick darkness. That's true. That's true. God said he would dwell in the thick darkness, but that don't mean I came from the darkness. No, no, no. You see, when God dwell in the thick darkness, that means he come in man. That's it. Right. You see, God dwell in our thick darkness. That's right. 
Many preachers teach that God start dealing with you when you come to the light. Uh -uh. No, no, no. God start dealing with you when you're in darkness. That's right. That's right. The light comes in darkness right. and then gradually bring us from the darkness to the light. To the light. You are like a child when it's born. Mm -hmm. The head is the first thing that's exposed to the light that's right. because it comes from the womb of the darkness. Mm -hmm. You see your head, your mind, thank God is the first thing mm -hmm. that's exposed to the light of God to the ways of God after your ears hear it now your mind can consider it and now when you think of the things of God the lessons of God teaches your body how to struggle and come from the womb of the darkness of the world that's right it. amen God ain't never came from darkness no, no. the God that I serve never strive to overcome darkness that's it. the God that I serve have no beginning no beginning have no ending, no ending. have no rival, no rival. have no partners. That's right. He's absolute. That's right. He's perfect. perfect. He's infallible. Amen. He's not begotten. Right. He's higher than heaven, yeah. broader than the sea, yeah. deeper than hell, yeah. and longer than the earth. That's yeah. right. No, God ain't never came from darkness. No, no. That is not the teaching of true Islam. True Islam teach that God always was, oh, right. always have been, and always will be. So you tell me you understand it, you don't have no more one to stand, Brother Abdul, than the other ones I talk to. So please, get a life, and don't waste my time. That's right. Next letter. Uh, the, next, the next two letters are on the subject of uh, the end of the world. All right. Uh, I'll read them both. I'll read them both one after the other. This one's very short. It says, Pastor Jennings, can you please talk about this group that says they have cracked the code that says the world would end on May the 21st, the year 2011. And he gives us a link to that. The more lengthy letter says. Hey, don't read that whole letter. I don't want that whole letter. It's too long. <laughs> too long. Right. Just read bits and pieces, maybe the second paragraph or something, and give me the gentleman's name at the bottom. Uh, quickly, it says, uh, Dear Pastor James, my prayer is that when you read this package, you'll find you and your congregation very good health. Uh, he goes on to say, On May 21st, 1988, uh, the seals from the Bible were removed by Jesus, which allowed for knowledge to increase regarding the end of the world. The closing of the seals and the removal of the seals are discussed in Daniel 12, verse 4, and Revelation 5, verses 2 to 5. Mm -hmm. The church age ended on May the 21st, 1988. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you better backtrack. What happened? The church age. The church age. The church age. It ended when? Ended on May the 21st, 1988. What wow. they've been smoking. Mm. Mm. What in the world you've been smoking? The church age ended? Ended. 1988? My Lord. Mm. That's enough of that lie. Let me give me his name. <laughs> Ernesto A. Barrett Sr. This is the gentleman that have made an international announcement that the world supposed to end May 21st, 2011. My Lord. This announcement is billboards all around the country. Yeah. People's advertising this on their vans and on their cars. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ernesto A. Barrett Sr. sent me a letter mm -hmm. and a copy of his book telling me his reasons why he lied, <laughs> saying the world's supposed to end. According to him, the world's supposed to end next month. That's right. That's right. May 21st, 2011. Let me say this to all of my viewers and you that follow Mr. Ernesto A. Barrett Sr. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna happen. No. No. May 21st will come, will come and go. That's right. And the world's still going to be here. That's right. And I advise you followers to tell Mr. Barrett after May 21st go to send out a national and international letter of apology. Amen. Of repentance Amen. to the world. Right. It's not going to happen. It's gonna happen. Amen. Well, someone say it's possible. No, it's not possible. No, it's not. The reason why it's not possible because the prophets mm -hmm have already foretold events that got to, got to happen before Jesus come here. That's right. Events got to take place in the earth first That's right. before Jesus 
come here and all those events, it ain't happened yet. No. Do you know how many times good for nothing, low life liars mm -hmm. like Mr. Barrett Sr. came along before I was born Amen. and said the world was going to end? Going to end. According to history, mm -hmm. it is said that the Maya Indians yeah. have the oldest calendar in the world. Mm -hmm. And the Maya Indians predict years ago mm -hmm. that doomsday will take place the year 2012. Right. Historians supposed to come along later who's fascinated with this gentleman called Nostradamus. That's right. And Bible scholars and other fellas said that Nostradamus, he came up yeah. with the code agreeing with the Mayas mm -hmm. that the world's supposed to end mm -hmm. 2012. 2012. Something is wrong. That's right. Now, Mr. Barrett said from the Lord, from the Lord. May 21st, 2011. Mm -hmm. Nostradamus said from the Lord, Amen. 2012. Yeah. Jesus said, right no man knew. That's right. Let's see what Jesus said. In Mark chapter 13 and at verse 32. Mark 13, 32. But of that day. Glory to God. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? But of that day. Of that day. And that hour. Of that day and that hour. Knoweth no man. What? Knoweth no man. Mr. Barrett, mm -hmm. you have challenged Jesus. That's right. Because you came with a day, mm -hmm. May 21st. Mm -hmm. And I believe May 21st is on a Saturday. Yeah. That's right. And the Bible says, But of that day, of that day, and that hour, what? Knoweth no man. Barrett, you don't know. Don't know. The Lord didn't reveal nothing to you. No, no. This goes back to what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. They come in the name Jesus, yeah. but really are instruments of Satan. That's right. And what makes this so dangerous, innocent people, yeah. men, women, boys, girls, children, That's right. trust and follow this foolishness. That's right. If you search history, as one man said, history is best qualified to reward all research. Amen. All down through history, 1900s, 1800s, 1700s, right. 1600s, mm -hmm. men. Even some people were so loyal to men, I can't think of the name of this gentleman, but he predicted a day. And then got all his followers and dressed them all in white robes to stand in an open field waiting for Jesus to come. That whole movement and all its followers to date are dead. My Lord. Jesus having yet came. Yeah. Amen. Viewers, believe the scriptures. That's right. Glory right, to God. That's what we're trying to pound on you. That's right. If any man come, I don't care how religious he appeared to be, let him grow a beard so long and replace his shoelaces. Right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> Let him climb up on a mountain and stay there mm -hmm. until he come back with a different hairdo. That's right. That's right. The word of God says. But of that day. Of that day. And that hour. When you get a day, you got to have a date. Right. Of that day and of that hour. No, it's no man. No man. No man. The prophets. The Lord didn't reveal it to them. No. Nope. The apostles, the Lord did not reveal it to them. For yourselves know perfectly. Listen at this. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2. The apostle Paul said, for yourselves know perfectly. That the day of the Lord. That the day of the Lord. So cometh as a thief in the night. Hold it. Amen. The scripture describes how the Lord day will come. That's right. How will it come? As a thief in the night. All right, viewers. Mm -hmm. Heads up. That's right. Many have had their house broken into. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you that have, you have had your house burglarized, Amen. did the thief ever call you first? Oh, no. Did a thief ever say, hey, hey, what's up? 
Hey, look, you don't know me. I don't know you. But look, I'm a five doors up from yours. And I will be uh, inside of your place in about an hour. You know, just have your door unlocked. That's right. I'm going to steal your jewelry. I'm going to steal your car. And uh, just a couple of silverware. That's right. Give you a heads up. Mm -hmm. The Lord comes as a thief. As a so thief. therefore... If he come as a thief and then reveal to some man a day, right? You ain't sneaking up on nobody. No, no, no. Viewers, these modern religious deceivers, amen, who you look at as great men of God, right, are great men of Satan. That's right. That's what they are. This is the work of Satan. That's right. The devil. The devil. Jesus said what? Of that day. And that hour. And that hour. Knoweth no man. Knoweth no man. No, no, not the angels which are. Not even. Man. Listen, the angels are in the presence of God and they don't even know. That's right. What else? Neither the son. Neither the son. But the father. But the spirit. That's it. To the spirit know all things. Amen. God know all things. Now, viewers, get this. Not even the church know when the Lord's coming. No. There isn't a man or woman that know. Now, viewers, understand this. I want to talk about the devil. Amen. Satan is a worthy opponent. Oh, yes, he is. Satan have absolutely no love for God at all. At all. That's right. The hatred, the jealousy, hmm. the arrogance, yeah. the forwardness, mm -hmm. the vindictiveness. That's right. He is vindictive. He's on a mission. He's on a mission. And that is to get back at God. That's right. For putting him out. That's right. Of where he was. That's right. Arrogance, pride, pride. self willness, mm -hmm. hard headedness, mm -hmm. lies, lies, deception. Yeah. None of those things originated here on earth. Oh, no. All those things originated in heaven. In heaven. Introduced by a spirit that was opposite from the spirit of God. That's right. Satan is not a man. No. Satan is a spirit that works in man. That's right. The devil didn't come from a laboratory. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. The devil wasn't grafted. No. The devil didn't go through stages of transformation of color no. until he became white. That's right. That's right. That's the devil's teaching. Right. So you don't know who the devil is. Mm -hmm. The devil, mm -hmm. Lucifer, Lucifer, is the name of the devil. That's right. Devil is a title as Satan is the title. That's right. Lucifer is a name. That's right. Let's go to work. In the book of Isaiah. Give me the book of Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, and we'll start at verse 13. Listen. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. And? The sardius, topaz, and the diamond. The burl, the ox, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle. What is it? And gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee. Now, look at the Lord hmm. talking about an angel right. that he created. That's right. This angel name is Lucifer. That's right. Amen. Lucifer was not always a devil. No. That's right. No, no. Somebody say, I thought the devil always exists. Oh, no. Oh, no. The only one always exists is God. God. That's right. That's right. 
Only God has no beginning. Mm -hmm. Only God has no ending. Mm -hmm. Only God always was. That's right. Only God always have been and always will be. That's right. Lucifer was one of the angels, mm -hmm. one of the creations of God. Right. That was among the other angels mm -hmm. as Jabril. That's right. Michael. Mm -hmm. Raphael. Yeah. Satan is the title of a spirit. That's right. That opposes God. That's right. In Ezekiel, the prophet is describing Lucifer. That's right. The angel. Yeah. He's not yet describing Lucifer, the devil. That's right. Listen. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Lucifer had pipes mm -hmm. created by the Lord. That's right. The scriptures never said he was a choir director. No. No. All religious liars. That's right. Said that he direct the heavenly choir. Amen. That's not written. That's not written. That's one of them old lies that been preached before I was born. That's right. Lucifer having pipes. Mm -hmm. Let you know that he was a good spokesman. Amen. He had a very authoritative voice. That's right. A voice that was very influential. Mm -hmm. Not talking about the devil. No. We're talking about Lucifer, the righteous angel. That's right. Listen. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Yes. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. That's not the devil. No. This is a righteous holy angel. That's right. Thou art what? Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Thou art the anointed. The power and the presence of God is with you. That's right. Viewers, you look at the name Lucifer and instantly think of devil. Devil. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that. No. For the devil had to come into being. That's right. If you look at the devil and the way he worked, mm -hmm. he transformed someone to be himself. That's right. That's it. He work in. That's right. And then he overtake what he work in. Mm -hmm. And when he overtake you, you become one with the one that overtake you. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Thou art the anointed cherub that cover. And I have set thee so. God talking. Amen. God say, I, I, I've set you so. Thou was upon the holy mountain yeah. of God. Listen, talking about that anointed angel. That's right. You was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou that means you had authority. Yeah. You're upon the holy mountain of God. You had authority with God and you have favor with God. That's right. Uh -huh. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Look at you. Mm. You walk up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You walk up and down. That's right. In the midst where the presence and the power of God was. That's right. You walk up and down. Up and down. Amongst the angels Amen. and amongst other heavenly hosts. Amen. Among the stones of fire. Fire mm. represent power. Power represent spirit. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's why the word of God says he make his ministers mm. or his servants a flame of fire. fire. That's right. Glory to God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. And thou was perfect in thy ways. What? Thou was perfect in thy ways. That's not the devil. No way. That's the righteous angel Lucifer. That's right. Thou art complete. Mm -hmm. perfect. Thou art perfect in thy thou ways. Thou art holy. That's right. Thou art upright. Amen. In thine ways, mm -hmm. you were pleasing me. That's something. Doing what I say do. That's right. Doing what I want done. Mm -hmm. Notice the language of the prophet Ezekiel. Thou was perfect in thy ways. Thou 
thou was perfect in thine way from the day from the day that thou was created that God made you till what till what till what till till that's that then there's a problem coming yeah. that's right <laughs> that's right now transformation amen do you remember the man named Judas mm -hmm. Judas wasn't always a traitor no not always he was an apostle that's right took part of the ministry took part of the ministry mm -hmm. hand picked by the Messiah hand picked that's right but the same thing that the book said in the Old Testament about mm -hmm. Lucifer right it said the exact same, same thing. thing about Judas in Luke chapter 22 and verse 3 Luke 22 and 3 says then entered Satan then you better go up we'll begin in verse 1 yes we better get all that now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh which is called the Passover yes and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him for they feared the people then entered Satan then into Judas. Enter Satan into Judas. Surnamed Iscariot. Then entered Satan into Judas. You That's see, right. before then, the devil wasn't in him. No. He was among the other apostles, mm -hmm. working, doing the Lord's work. You That's see, right. brothers and sisters and television viewers, mm -hmm. when the devil entered into you, Inter now you become something that you normally are not. That's right. Transformation take place. That's it. God said, I create good and I create evil. And evil. Listen, go back to Ezekiel. I want to balance this out good. Back in Ezekiel 28 and verse 15. All right. Thou was perfect in thy ways. Talking about the righteous angel Lucifer, thou were perfect in thy ways. From the day From that the thou day was that created. You were created. Till, till iniquity was found in thee. You know, mm. you'll be doing good. <laughs> yes, that's true. Come on, really. Until till iniquity. The devil mm -hmm. comes into us. In thee. That's right. The introduction mm. of the dwelling of Satan mm -hmm. starts with the conversion of the mind. That's right. If my thoughts are righteous and holy, mm -hmm. it is written, he'll keep you in perfect peace. peace. Whose mind Amen. is stayed, stayed on. on him. Right. So what happens mm -hmm. when the mind changes? Yes. The peace yes. changes. That's right. That's right. It goes from peace mm -hmm. to confusion. For the Lord says he is not the author. That's right. Of confusion. Yes. Which means he is not the author right. of that type of mind. That's right. That's right. You cannot blame or confuse mind yeah. on God. No, no. He is not the author of it. He no. is not the originator. Yeah. Where there's confusion, there's conflict, war, right. debate. You don't agree. That's right. That's right. That's right. Satan, mm -hmm. the instrument of confusion. Yeah. Amen. The originator Amen. of confusion. That's right. Lucifer was doing well. I'm good. I didn't say the devil was doing well. No. Lucifer, Lucifer. the righteous angel, mm -hmm. was doing well. Mm -hmm. Till. Till iniquity was. Until Satan was or the devil was found was in thee. Found in thee. In thee. Amen. Now, Lucifer takes on another nature. That's right. And when Lucifer takes on another nature, mm -hmm. his mindset now is changed. That's right. Before then, mm -hmm. he was bowing to the Almighty like all other angels. Perfect, perfect in that ways. He is written, he was perfect in all his ways. That's so right. as all other angels bowed, he bowed. That's right. As all other angels recognized and served God, so did he. So did he. 
But now iniquity, mm -hmm. sin, wickedness, ungodliness, Ungodly. unrighteousness, mm -hmm. the devil Amen. was found in him. Indeed. Now the devil wasn't everywhere. Amen. No. No. It wasn't time for the devil Amen. to be everywhere. That's right. That's right. You get him in one place. It's mm -hmm. like a germ. Yeah. A virus. Yes. A disease carrier. Mm -hmm. You get one. Right. Then it starts spreading mm -hmm. and contaminates the others. The others. That's right. It is written that iniquity was found in him, not in them. No.